Dirt Surfers are what happens when you take a scooter, hack off the stem, and give it BMX wheels instead. And yes, they are exactly as sketchy to ride as they look. The rear wheel is fixed, but the front wheel actually pivots so you can steer. Traditionally, Dirt Surfers are used in a very niche downhill racing sport, but when I discovered them, I thought it would be an excellent candidate for an electric conversion. Now, I'm far from the first person to do that, but I have a very unique use case. Because my channel is all about backpacking with various electric rideables. Whether that's raft packing on my electric raft, or skate packing with my electric skateboard, or attempting the world's first ever backpacking trip on an electric snowboard, the electric dirt surfer will be used for this sort of thing as well, and I think it's going to be excellent at dirt and gravel rail trails. The electric dirt surfer has the off-road capability of a bike while having the portability and maneuverability of an electric skateboard. And the electric conversion was actually pretty straightforward. It's a name brand dirt surfer, and you just drop out the rear wheel and replace it with the same size e-bike hub motor kit. Other than that, no special modifications were needed. I even managed to attach the disc brake from the original rear wheel onto the e-bike hub motor. So I have physical brakes in addition to the regen braking. I just have to repair the brake line first. Although I'm not sure I want to keep the physical brakes knowing that I have working regen brakes because the crossbar for the brake lever on the back is actually rubbing up against the rear tire since the tire on the e-bike hub motor is a lot larger than the original tire. The motor itself is a 36 volt thousand watt Halo Motors 16 inch e-bike hub motor kit. Although in my speed controller I do have it pegged only 900 watts for now. And I specifically chose this voltage so I can reuse the batteries for my electric skateboard so that every time I do a new DIY build I don't have to go and buy brand new batteries for every build. I can just reuse batteries across the various projects. To hold the speed controller and the batteries I bolted a simple plastic container to the deck. It had to be relatively small since I don't have much space on the deck to work with so it's really kind of constrained in that little container to store both the batteries and the speed controller and all the wiring that goes into that. The ESC itself is a Flipski 75100 single speed controller and the remote is a VX1 which means I can control it exactly like an electric skateboard. It's pretty much a very similar setup to my electric snowboard project. According to the motor specs the max RPM is 480 and if you do the math with the diameter of the wheel that works out to be a theoretical max speed of 36 kilometers an hour although between me and all my backpacking gear if I take it out on a trip that's about 280 pounds of weight so realistically I'm probably going to wind up somewhere between the 25 to 30 kilometer an hour max speed. And because I'm using the same batteries for my electric skateboard on my electric skateboard with all of my backpacking gear I can get a max range of up to 50 kilometers so it'll be interesting to see how that compares to the electric dirt surfer using the exact same batteries. So I don't know what the max speed or the max range of the electric dirt surfer is right now. I'll handle that in a future video. For now I just wanted to focus on actually learning how to ride this thing because these have a really high learning curve but I managed to figure it out. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't think I'd get that far today. That is incredible. Sketchiest thing I've ever ridden, but a lot of fun.
So I actually learned how to ride this thing a lot faster than I thought. I thought it would take me a lot more attempts to get going on that thing. But I cannot say how stoked I am that this thing is actually working with minimal problems. Now, that being said, I obviously still have a few minor kinks to work out with it. I gotta figure out the tire rubbing on the crossbar of the brakes. The other thing is my front tire. I'm using the old inner tube that came on the Dirt Surfer. That thing's probably years old. It's got a very slow leak. Over the course of a few days, it goes completely flat. But other than that, it's just a matter of me getting more practice on the board and getting used to riding. It. By the end of today's little testing session, I was actually starting to get a little bit comfortable riding it and getting a little bit used to how it feels at different speeds. I just need to spend more time on the board. So now that I got this thing up and running, what do you guys want to see me do with it? And if you guys want to see all the outdoor adventures I get up to with electric rideables of all shapes and sizes, click the card.